Good morning, happy Sunday. It is September 15th, and I'm here to help you with your energy today. This is Positivity, so grab your cup of tea and let's have a quick chat about how to direct this energy. Rubio's for me today. What are you having? We are going to draw from the River Witch Oracle. This deck is available on my website if you're interested. And we're gonna pull our card for today. Here's the card. It is the Hummingbird card. The Hummingbird card, three keywords are swiftness, agility, and resilience. So let's talk about swiftness. I'm not re referring to Taylor Swift. <laughs> Um, what I'm referring to is your ability to respond to change, your ability to respond to your daily work, your ability to um, look within yourself and come to terms with what needs to be addressed and what needs to be let go. Um, so many times, right, we're looking at the world and we're like, oh my God, life is horrible, it's awful. Set that aside, respond to what you have in front of you with one simple question. Does this bring me joy, right? Does it bring you joy? Does it make you happy? If it doesn't make you happy, then you need to stop doing it. You need to find other ways to meet those needs. People look so much outside for things that make them happy and really it's all inside already. You just need to find it. Our next word is agility. So when we, thought, when we think about a hummingbird, I don't know if you've experienced it, but hummingbirds are, they will move on a dime and it's literally right? And they um, will fly right up to your face and, and then move and fly off. The agility that they have is absolutely amazing. So when you're thinking about this agility, this word, this energy for agility, think about how you are moving. Think about how you are spending your day. What are you doing to bring that change into fruition? Our last word is resilient. We are all resilient. We all have made it this far, okay? So you are doing a good job. Look within yourself and find that thing, that one thing that's the challenge, that one thing that you need to work on and continue to improve. What you're looking for is continuous improvement. You wanna have this iteration of yourself be B. The next is C, the next is D, the next is E. Continual improvement. You're looking for ways to make your life, your existence on this planet to be as peaceful and caring as possible. A lot of times, and, and it, it may seem overly simplified, but a lot of times the negativity and the stress that we have in our lives, we bring on ourselves, right? We continue to do the same thing. An example of this might be repeatedly going back to the same abusive partner, right? You know, you know how they are. You know this within your being, and yet you continue to pick up the phone when they call. You continue to go to meet them. You continue to engage in that self-harm behavior. What resilience is, is telling you to set aside that <clears throat> set aside that self-harm behavior. Look within yourself and find that thing that makes you keep going back to that and give it to yourselves. What is it? Um, I can buy myself flowers, okay? What am I saying today? You can, right? You don't need to have that negativity in your life, around your being, around bringing that negative energy into what you need to, th to thrive. You need to get that stuff out of there. Weed your garden, girl. Weed it. Get that out of there. There are so many things, and didn't mean to be sexist there. Guys can do this too, you know, or, or um, non-binary. It's certainly not gendered. Um, but you need to take control of where you are. Um, I'm getting a lot of energy today um, about uh, hopelessness, okay? I don't know who you are out there. If you're sending that over, if you're feeling that, it is not hopeless, okay? 
this is emotions are temporary, right? You have um, a limited time to feel the way you're feeling and then it changes because emotions change, okay? Um, another thing to think about is what is in your control, right? In order to continue to, you know, work with swiftness, to be agile and to work with resilience is you have to think about what you can actually control. If you, if I were to say, I'm having a horrible day because it's raining, then what, I, I can't control if it's raining. I can only control how I feel about it raining, right? Or how I respond about it raining, right? So not necessarily how I feel because feelings, they're temporary, they're emotional, you feel them, they're gone, right? But how you respond to that emotion is going to be what carries you through the day. It's going to be whether or not you have a good day or a bad day. You ever see people who are just smiling for no reason? Yeah, smile for no reason because smiling makes you happy. All right, a little bit of a tangent there. I hope it helped. Our card again today is the hummingbird. I hope that's been helpful for you. If you have comments or concerns, please leave them in the chat. And I will, I would love to hear from you. Um, if you have uh, anything else going on that you'd like to discuss, I'm certainly available for personal consultations. You can find that information on my website. I hope you have a glorious day today.